Hello and welcome to CSS Hero version 3. This is a WordPress plugin that works on any WordPress site. And what it does is it helps you make your site look great quickly. This is a completely rethought from scratch in order to be a tool to help both newbies and pros. Here it is, take a look. Uh, this is a what you see is what you get. Easy creative environment to tweak your CSS. So to jump in real quick and just give you an idea of what this can do, let's click on Hello World. And you can see if we click on typography, we see all these different things we can change. Let's change the font size. Let's make it ridiculous. And then the line height, all this stuff. It just within a second, we can start changing the look of this site. Um, and one thing that I really love about this too is that uh, it's non-destructive. So you don't need to worry. You can just play. And let's see that. Let's let's say you get stuck here. You go, oh my gosh, I don't know what the heck I did. You come over to font size. Click those three dots. Reset. Line height. Reset and we're back to normal. So it's super easy to change stuff on your site just by rolling over, clicking on it, and then uh, choosing over here what you want to change about it. From the top, let's start at this uh, background image here. We click the background image, and you can see when we go to the background section, you can see that it's, it's loaded in already here, background image. If we click on image, add image, all of a sudden we get access to all these images from Unsplash. And you can see as we scroll through these images, there's a ton of these images that you can choose. I'm going to choose, I'll go with this hawk guy. Click apply image, click extra large because we want it to stand out. And then there he is. Now he's not in the perfect right place. So let's see what else we can do. If we scroll down here, we've got background position. And you can see it's showing the very, very top here. We want to click instead center. And now that's better. Now we can see real well. But now it's hard to see the site name. So we click on that. You can see it's got that blue box around it. That allows us to, to click and change anything here. So we're going to click on that guy. And then typography, colors, and make it white to stand out. So you can see in a second we just changed that image. And, and mainly thanks to this, this integration with Un Unsplash, I uh, made it super, super easy to do that. Now one thing you'll notice is if you click on this and you click on background, it says there isn't a background image. You go, wait, no, there is a background image right there. It's because you were choosing the text instead of the image. So make sure you click on the, the exact thing that you want to change, and then you can see, hey, there it is. There's a background image loaded, and if you click Add Image, there's all, all of our images again. So it's super easy to customize for sure. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit your site from mobile and tablet. Now, just because it's open, let's change this background image one more time because it's fun and uh, loads in a second and then we're just going to move that image a little bit down so we can see great so we can see everything great and then we come over to editing mode as we choose mobile portrait we can see all of a sudden we're seeing our site and you can scroll down now you can't you, you don't want to click and drag here because you can see it's still allowing us these blue boxes to select and use css here of course so that's we got the slider on the side but it allows us to really do some editing different than the main site so if we uh, come in here with the background and we decide hey no for mobile we would rather have it be off to the side like this then what it's doing is it's writing different types of CSS depending on what uh, what screen size you're in. So it's very, very helpful to go back and forth and optimize for desktop versus mobile and have it change uh, just by clicking this, changing the editing mode, you'll be writing different CSS. So it makes it super simple. Next, I want to show you how easy it is to change the fonts and add new fonts on your website. So you click on uh, you click on something you want to change the font for. Click on typography, and you can see here's the font family loaded in right at, uh, already. And you can see we have these fonts easy uh, access, accessible. But you come down to Font Manager, and this integrates with uh, Google Fonts. You can see we can add Google Fonts. Look at this ridiculous list of Google Fonts that we can add to our site. There's an unending list. Now that's that's overwhelming. So we've got we've already got some uh, loaded into our project right now. You can see we've got uh, monospace serif and then sans serif fonts. Um, so that's that's probably an easier list to stick with. But if you want to add a Google Font, it's super easy to do. And then uh, as we come back over here, we can change just by clicking through here. We can change as well and get an idea of how each of these would look. Super easy to just try and see, you know, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, and you finally land on something that you really like. 
Also, take a look at this undo and redo functionality up on the top here. Let's say you, you know you had something from before that you that you really liked, but you can't find out where it was, or you make a mistake and you go, ah, oh, shoot, what was it? This undo and redo functionality is great. And also there is a history. So if you click on history here, you can see all these different uh, changes we've made. You can go back to any of those uh, those edit histories. So it's super flexible in that regard as well. Next, we're going to jump into the CSS code editor. That's what I have down here in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, you can get this open by clicking the arrow right here. And it's showing you the CSS that's connected to these different items on the screen. So right now I've got this background image selected and we can see uh, the background image URL is right here. Now we can see the height is 500 pixels. So if I want to change that, I can change it no problem just by actually writing the code. Now sometimes it's easier to to go ahead and click and drag to change font sizes and all this stuff. Uh, for instance, typography here. Well, I just clicked on this recent post thing down here and then I did typography down to font size. And then you know in a second I'm changing that super quickly, but you also might just say, you know what, I just want to change it like this. I just want to see what these different numbers will be and you can write that that code as well or if you're more comfortable writing code but you still want this what you see is what you get interface to help you speed that that process up uh, this is this is really easy to use here uh, you can change the the font size you can maximize this area if you just want to focus on writing code for a second there. Um, and as you click around, you can see as you're clicking on different things, the code that is being written for those areas is going to show up here. Now you can see some things don't have anything, like pay, for page title here, we don't have anything yet. Let's say we want to make that bigger and change the color. All, all of a sudden, as soon as I start clicking and dragging, it's adding that actual code in. And if I want to just delete that, it'll go back to what it was before. That's like hitting reset essentially. Um, so whether you would rather click and drag to add the code or whether you just click here and, and add the, the code directly, you're welcome to do that. It's a really flexible system. There's a lot more you can do with CSS Hero, of course. One more thing I want to show you here, if, if you can click uh, recent post right here, this will also affect recent comments and archives and categories. You can see they're all styled the same and the software is uh, smart. It, it combines them. So as we change the, the color here, you can see it's changing all those colors together, which is really nice. Now just take a look. Let's just kind of go through the sidebar here so you can see all these different sections. So color, font family, font weight, font size, line height, font style, text transform, text decoration, align, letter spacing, word spacing, shadow, and then we're on to borders. We're on to border radius, padding, margin. There's so much you can do here along with some advanced uh, advanced features here, uh, changing the positioning and all that stuff. So there's so much that you can do to, to edit your WordPress website to make it exactly what you want it to be. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video.